Now to Africa's other big weekend election. Uh, ballot counting is underway in Senegal after a peaceful day of voting in Sunday's presidential election. After three weeks of campaigning, long lines of voters formed early Sunday to cast their vote for incumbent Marquis Sall or one of his four challengers, Idrissa Sek, Osman Sonko, Madinke Nyang, or Issa Fall, uh, Issa Sal, rather. Here's viewer Salwa Jafari. It's a big day for Ben. It's the first time that this philosophy student will be able to fulfill her duty as a citizen. And Ben chose incumbent President Macky Sall, and here's what she expects from him. What we all have in common is Senegal, and we want a candidate who will work for Senegal. I did not accept money, the 2,000 or 5,000 francs that were given to vote for anyone. I voted for the candidate who will lead Senegal forward. We leave the district of Pekin to find an equally peaceful atmosphere in the district of Soprime in the arrondissement Parcel. Lines are a bit longer, but voters appear just as calm. They don't hesitate to share the reasons behind their choice. I voted for Senko because he represents hope for Senegal. He brought something new to Senegalese politics and it shows in his journey, his demeanor and his speech. I voted for incumbent President Macky Sall. He is the president of hope. He did a lot for his country. He has great plans and results. Over a period of seven years, he had more results than Abdullah Wad in his 12 years and the socialist regime in 40 years. Each voter spends about five minutes at the polling station. Once their identities are confirmed, they receive ballots corresponding to five candidates and make their choice behind this curtain. The voting process happened in peace and tranquility. Nowhere we observe violence in the crowds, no sign of pushing or crashing. On the contrary, we only saw a peaceful queue of electors. I've been here since this morning, and all I saw was peaceful voting. I also visited some office and met with the voting officers, who told me all is going well. Well, for more now on the Senegalese election, let's go live. You Skype to viewer Salwa Jaffery. She's in Dakar. Hey, Salwa. Good evening. Yes, a little bit uh, problematic uh, audio there. Uh, you got a... A, a, a little issue there, I didn't hear you clearly, but let's start by talking about this announcement by the permanent, uh, um, the Prime Minister, uh, that Macky Sall, the incumbent, has already won the election. Uh, the electoral body is supposed to announce this, so what has been the reaction there? Well, it seems like there's the angry side and the happy side, of course. The, the happy side, last night, as you mentioned, the the prime minister announced that uh, the incumbent president, Macky Sall, have won more than 57 uh, percent of the votes. And that, of course, triggered an outburst of happiness among the, his supporters and anger uh, among the supporters of opposition members, understandably, understandably so, uh, primarily because uh, he was announcing results while the ballots are still being counted. Uh, no, there is no official declaration yet from the uh, Electoral Commission. Uh, then there is this unprecedented press conference uh, by uh, Osman Sonko, the other candidates, Osman Sonko and um, Idrissa Sek, uh, that made a press conference together, which is very unusual, uh, to denounce uh, the prime minister's announcement and uh, to, to say that basically Maki Sal is trying to to steal the vote of the people. Uh, well, we, I've been just I just received uh, news that the uh, the commission in charge of of counting the ballots have rejected the prime minister's number and is calling the the candidates and the population to refrain and the media, of course, to refrain from giving any any results uh, that haven't been confirmed. Uh, so uh, there is there is no official numbers yet. I have to insist on that. What we have if, is provisional results only, results given by uh, mainly by local media, especially the national uh, televisions, which have been uh, watching since last night. So they've been given result after result, uh, the polling station after 
polling station. And I have to say that uh, there is a trend. Maki Sal has won a lot of votes uh, from uh, from Senegalese people, followed by Osman Sonko and Idrissa Sek. What I have to, what I can say for sure is that uh, the two other candidates, um, uh, Madi Kenyang and Issa Sal, are way behind. Uh, as for the vote yesterday, I don't know if you want to if you want to talk about that and go or go back and talk about the the last um, last night's vote. Ask you how did the process go? We've just reported about Nigeria. Just quickly, if you can update us on how things went in Senegal overall. Well, I, we followed the election throughout the day. We went to a lot of uh, voting uh, stations, and what we've noticed is everything was very going very smoothly. Uh, pe people were very calm. They go in five minutes, go out, uh, and this has been confirmed by uh, the commission, the, the electoral commission, and by many observers. So everything uh, went as planned. A vote started at 8 a.m. and uh, finished at uh, not at 8 uh, p.m. Uh, we couldn't. Uh, notice anything. I mean, there were a few reports of minor uh, uh, incidents like people forgetting their cards or going to the wrong office or uh, offices running out of red ink, but nothing major. You know what, Salo? I wish we had more time. Thank you very much for now. <laughs> We'll talk to you Thank again. You. All right. That's uh, viewer Salwa Jaffery reporting live via Skype from Dakar.